it's spring or it's looking a lot like spring here in Paris the the trees are a blooming the flowers are finally out in most places that I have seen and it's definitely changing my moods like my I feel happier I feel fresher I feel ready um, occasionally uh, not all the time but yeah I mean I last week I definitely had like some kind of seasonal 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 depression type like tendencies or symptoms because I was just feeling so like just not myself I just wasn't feeling anything which is lovely um now I feel a little bit better I feel a little bit more alive in some way um but I do have like feelings obviously you know me always having some out of this world thought process about something so arbitrary but yeah I mean what the point is that I feel very hopeful for that it's now spring and I get to hopefully today it's not nice weather by the way it's like not not nice but this week is gonna be like 20 degrees uh, yeah it's gonna be like 20 degrees celsius uh, this coming week can't wait for that although I guess it's gonna be really difficult at work because it's a lot of pushing and pulling and you know I yeah there's a lot to that but I'm I don't know but something I have been thinking about is like I'm probably gonna be really lonely this summer because all my friends that I made here in Paris are from film school and I'm not in film school and they're gonna be really busy doing films because during the summer you usually have like a, a long ass like production period is like three months well it goes on into the following school year so it's like it's a really long time uh, that they're just gonna be busy and I am hoping to find some kind of like way to sneak my way into the sets but I don't think I am not too hopeful because I wasn't much of a set person last year I cause I I really liked um, pre-production and I also really like post the production itself I, I haven't really like had the chance yet because I don't know really what how I could contribute you know what I'm saying like I do the music I do it pretty well I think yeah, I still have a lot to learn but that's definitely my forte at the moment but that's because I I am a musician it's not really because of film school it's just that I'm a musician so what are you gonna do about it um, in pre-production I really liked being the casting assistant it was really fun I liked being on set but I am I'm discovering and maybe a little bit disappointed in a way that I'm not much of a people person or at least not initially I don't think I have some trust issues with people I don't really trust them if I don't know them and production is a whole lot of like oh this is a new person there's a new person there's a new person and now you have to work with these two people and maybe your personalities don't work really well but you have to just make it work and that's just really hard for me sometimes uh, I'm just not I, I don't know I think it's because I have this idea that I'm not very likable or I'm not very You know, yeah, I have this idea about myself that I'm not a likable person and that I don't know if that's true or not. And, like, the truth is I'm not the right person to be even making a judgment because I've never met myself. Um, you know, 
I know myself, but I don't know how I come off to other people. So yeah, I don't know. I do not know who to turn to, where to go, what's right, what's wrong for me. I do not know like what the right decisions are at the moment. It's just a lot, you know? I'm at that point right now where I want to just like shut the world out and like curl up like in a ball and watch Harry Potter. These days I feel a little bit behind on many things. I feel like I constantly need to be reminded that I'm not a failure. Um, I think also because of the nature of my job, I feel like I'm not really, you know, I have more potential not as a cleaning lady but you know in life I feel like I'm a help. and and you know the funny thing is I don't really mind the job like I I like the job I like cleaning okay I like the action of like I clean this somebody else uses it and is happy and that's very very rewarding the other day some man random man told me in person that the room was exceptionally clean he was very impressed because he knew that the building was old and that it's difficult to clean so it was just like it made me feel very happy in a moment where I was extremely sad actually at work um so yeah I don't know like that's not gonna be my future but it's not really the job itself but because of the nature of the job I'm always cleaning for other people and not cleaning for me you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to, I guess, clean for myself to make myself feel happy. Now I clean, like, for other people. To make other people happy. And maybe I forget myself in the process. I don't know. I'm like kind of badass for going through all this by myself and like dealing with all this bullshit like that's pretty fucking badass of all of us I think to have issues and problems that are kind of like out of our control and we still are here and still going and breathing and you know trying to move on from it Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go because I've been talking for way too long and I need to start thinking about dinner because it's getting late. My bedtime's early. I get up early. Help me. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching and I don't ever want to say this, but like, please consider subscribing to me because that would be like, so awesome. Like, not to not to like join my family, but like what well, it's so awesome. If anybody watches this, I'm like so happy because it's awesome to like people enjoy what you make. Like like I said, I gotta do this for me because I need this. Lord knows I need this outlet, but it's awesome if people enjoy it. Some random person stumbles by it, sees it has a like a hundred views, they click, you know? That's awesome. That's everything. To just be able to give. Like, I want this to be positive. I don't want to be negative and just, oh, you know, want something positive in my life and something positive in your life. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe you find this calming. Maybe you find this, like, so weird. Like, why is she talking? Maybe you are in my situation or you feel lonely also. Maybe you're literally my friend watching this and being like oh shit i didn't know she's so fucking psycho i don't know who you are and i don't really care either um just kind of thankful i guess yeah anyway 
Bye.